Oklahoma Republican House candidate Scott Esk wrote years ago on Facebook that apparently gay people are worthy of death and we would be in the right to stone them to death. Ouch. Scott Esk was discussing the Pope on Facebook back then and quoted Leviticus 2013 which says, If a man lies with a man as with a woman, they have both committed an abomination. They must surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Some more discussion went on in the comments and another user asked Scott, so just to be clear, you think we should execute homosexuals, presumably by stoning? And he said, I think it would be totally in the right to do it. That goes against some parts of libertarianism I realize, and I'm largely libertarian, but ignoring as a nation things that are worthy of death is very remiss. So is Scott right? Would Christians nowadays be completely in the right to stone homosexuals to death? Well, no, and here's why. Scott isn't the first person to misuse a Bible quote for some political viewpoint, and he won't be the last. We have to understand what the Old Testament laws were written for. Context matters. Some laws in the Old Testament were to show the Israelites how to obey and please God, like the Ten Commandments. Some were to show them how to worship God and atone for sin, like animal sacrifices. And some were to make Israel distinct from the other nations of the world, like the food and clothing rules. God used many of those laws in the Old Testament to remove from the Israelites things that were leading them away from him. The Old Testament is a story showing that humans need a savior. God was telling them exactly what they needed to do to please him, and they continued to turn away. We see that with homosexuality, stealing, murder, lying, bearing false witness, all kinds of other things that were leading the Israelites, again, away from God. The punishments were harsh because the sins were severe, and those sins led the Israelites to do many terrible things. So if Scott was living in the Old Testament, he'd be right in a way. But hold on, I know what you're thinking. You're about to write a comment criticizing me for supporting a far-right Christian politician. But hold on a second. I said he'd be right if he were living in the Old Testament. He's clearly not. The one thing that everyone seems to forget, whether they're on the left or on the right, when quoting the Old Testament is, none of the Old Testament law applies to the Christians nowadays, not even the Ten Commandments. Jesus died on the cross to end the law of our forefathers, and he created a new law in himself, the New Covenant. He did still have many rules and laws for us to follow, and nine of the Ten Commandments are carried over into the New Testament, but all of the New Covenant can be summed up like this. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The Old Testament isn't completely irrelevant nowadays, though. It can be a good guide for modern Christians on how to love, obey, and please God. But Scott needs a wake-up call, because to say that Christians nowadays can stone homosexuals to death, meaning that the Old Testament law supersedes the law of Christ, is to forget the ultimate sacrifice that Christ made for us. And as a Christian, Scott should know that.